you do want to hold this type of cork screw so the cork doesn't pop right out and taking away everything and you can see how I'm pumping the corks out ever so slowly What is up guys, Julian here, the French wine making guy who makes wine videos here on YouTube, yes, wine videos. This is going to be a rather short video to test a type of wine bottle opener that I've never tried before. I've been testing different ways to open a bottle of wine, different wine hacks, including different wine hacks, how to open a bottle of wine with a shoe, how to open a bottle of wine with a lighter, with a screw and pliers and I also test more traditional wine bottle openers. Uh, I tested and I showed you how to open a bottle of wine with an ASO wine bottle opener. So this is more for old vintage wine bottles of wine. I definitely recommend you hang around my YouTube channel and watch several of those because it's rather interesting. I'm also going to be giving away this very corky wine bottle opener to one of you. I'll let you know at the end of the video how you can enter so I can send you personally this very wine bottle opener to your home. So if it works well, well, hopefully it works well. You you're going to be able to use this and or gift it for the holiday season. This is a type of wine bottle opener that it's called Corky and this is actually a pump. This is a bottle opener that is going to allow us supposedly to pump out the bottle and push the cork out of our bottle of wine. I believe this has been a type of a wine bottle opener that has been around for quite a little while but that is kind of coming back into fashion. So this is called Corky and this is made in Switzerland so I think this is the genuine, the true thing. I'm, I'm sure you can find perhaps more affordable versions of it that are made in different countries but this is made in Switzerland uh, and it feels really really good and this is what the pump uh, looks like. So, yeah, so I'm gonna try for the very first time to open a bottle of wine pumping the cork out of the bottle. So this is what the bottle corky bottle opener looks like so you can see that if i remove the needle protection here it's got a bit of a needle here can you see it it's got a needle that's gonna go through the cork and i'm gonna test this right now and see i'm gonna tell you how practical it is you're gonna be able to witness whether it's quick whether it works really well and i'm gonna tell you as i go all about how well this uh, Corky wine bottle opener works. So the Corky wine bottle opener comes with a foil cutter that you can see here. One of those small accessories but that is really really handy so you just apply the cutter on top of the bottle as you can see here and you just twist it just like this and you can see how I like how those foil cutters cut you know the foil really really neatly so it's good that they provide this as well and um, yeah then the theory goes that you just push the needle through all the way through the cork into the wine bottle yep that's that's very easy uh, very very easy and from there well you just start pumping so they say you want to apply with your thumb or with your hand make sure that the cork doesn't pop right out and splashes everywhere so i guess you just start pumping it's actually pretty hard maybe i'll use my right hand Whoop! and here you go done so you know not quite a strong pop i forgot to protect the thing so it popped right out but you can see wow it's uh, pretty straightforward i mean you need a little bit of strength here but nothing too dramatic anyone can do this really really quick really really fast you can obviously see that the cork is perfectly intact i guess if i remove the needle now it's going to be perhaps in a better condition since the screw hasn't really damaged the cork in any way um, the cork key wine bottle opener comes with a drop stop as well a drop stop a little thingy that is going to allow us to pour so that's also another useful wine little wine accessory a drop stop that you just put inside your bottle like this and it prevents 
your wine from dripping and you can see how you can elegantly pour up a nice glass of wine with this so conclusion on this corky well nice build i believe this is going to last for quite a long time i'm not sure how many wine bottles you can open with us but probably quite a few hundreds quite a few thousands uh, perhaps it's very fast it's very easy they say that this is not good for all bottles of wine when the cork is going to you know be a little bit uh, crumbly well i suppose the air is just going to go through uh, the cork and it may not work just as well so in which case you definitely want to use perhaps the asso again a demonstration in another video uh, they also say that you do not want to use the corky on non-cylindrical wine bottles or on the traditional flasks of Chianti wine. You know those Fiasco Chianti traditional wine bottles and I don't know why this is. So if you do know, let me know in the comments or if you are the manufacturer of corky, well do let me know why you cannot use this on non-cylindrical wine bottles but on anything else it sounds like this is really really easy and really handy to have now guys my very first attempt at using this air pump went really well as you have seen but as i was shooting another video testing many different types of corkscrews for another video project that i'm working on i've been testing many different types of corkscrews well i used this air pump again and with a little bit less of a positive result i'm going to show you what happened right here right now this is what happened what this has is a needle that is going to go inside uh, our cork and actually through the cork and it's going to allow us to pump air between the cork and the bottle and uh, we're going to be able to pump the cork right out so you want to insert the needle inside the cork all the way through all the way through this way and then you are going to be starting uh, pumping air in between the cork and the wine you do want to hold this type of corkscrew so it doesn't splashes too much and so the cork doesn't pop right out and taking away everything and you can see how i'm pumping the corks out ever so slowly okay i've had an accident this is why you do want to hold your cork out this wine everywhere uh, it doesn't matter so i was about to tell you that this is an excellent way to open a bottle of wine even though this has demonstrated that it is not in the end all that practical to have okay i'm gonna tidy up this mess now and um yes yeah, sponge everything off uh, the desk and i'll be with you back in So yes, I think this is down to me not being trained enough for using this and this is a good lesson that I've learned. If you are going to be using this and they are really good, like I really like it, up maybe a little bit less now, but do put, leave your hand on top of your thumb on top of it while you're pumping so this doesn't happen to you. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm glad, even though I had to clean up everything and it was a bit of a wine mess around me, but you know, I'm happy that this happened to me so it won't happen to you uh, again as well. So how do you enter to win this particular Corky wine opener? So I will send it to one of you. I'll pick someone randomly, leave me a comment uh, on this very channel, on the YouTube uh, description of the video, share this a video with your fellow wine loving friends on your favorite social media platform the Facebook the Instagram the Twitter Reddit or else and leave me a comment saying that you would like a chance to win uh, this particular wine bottle opener and uh, Give me a link to uh, the social media post that you've made about this video I just want to spread the word about this very channel and as many people uh, to enter so they, they and your friends also get a chance to win uh, this bottle opener. Thanks to you. Thanks for sharing this video. And yeah, I hope this video was useful. I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine with many more wine videos talking about wine, learning about wine, learning how to pronounce those difficult wine names, French wine names, Italian wine names, Spanish wine names. There's a lot of wine videos on the channel, so make sure to stick around. And I will see you soon in the wonderful world of vino. Arrivederci, au revoir, ciao ciao, cheers.